Okay, before we start the class for today, I will introduce you a little bit on the psychometrics chart. That's right. Previously, we talked about the energy balance, right? energy balance based on temperature change, based on temperature change. This incorporated with the specific heat or sometimes we call it central heat. That's right. And also, for a previous example, we talk about the energy balance that incorporate with the phase change. And also in, in the system, we talk about the water and air system. Water and air system, we have some humid air, dry air, things like this, the relative humidity. For this system, we talk about uh, water evaporate in terms of water vapor. The humidity means the air include the water vapor, right? And sometimes we introduce you about the psychometric chart, that's right, or humidity chart something like this for the air water system. Air water system. Okay, we, we talk about the, some term like dry bulb. The dry bulb temperature, commonly when you draw the humidity chart, we draw about the dry out in temperature in axis, uh, in exit, this is the dry bulb temperature. That's right, dry bulb temperature. This is the air temperature. It will be measured by thermometer, thermocouple or the another sensor design. and the next term is absolute humidity or SA or SA mostly in, in the y-axis that's why we have the humidity SA I will show you the, the chart in the next time that's why the absolute humidity or sometimes we call moisture content moisture content is amount of the water include in the air that's in terms of Vapor phase of water include the air. It's dry air. Dry air means the compression of only air, no water. That's right. And sometimes we can we can represent in terms of relative humidity. That's right. Relative humidity. Sometimes it's one hundred multiplied partial pressure of water divided by the vapor pressure of water. And also show in in the chart. 100%, 90%, they talk to you for that case. If the 100% humidity, for this case, we call the saturation curve. That's right, saturation curve. And another point is T, TDP, dew point temperature. Dew point temperature. Dew point temperature is the temp at which humid air become saturated or cool to the liquid state. That's right, the dew point, dew point means the vapor condensed to the liquid state. They did it, uh, diagram or chart of the psychometric chart. Right. This is the moisture content coordinate or uh, y axis, the moisture content. And this, the system is the temperature, it's the dry bulb temperature and dry bulb temperature. And, so, and also, uh, right, this line. This line is the relative humidity. That's right. This is 10, 20, 30, 40. And the line, this is the, the last line, is 100 relative humidity. And also, there are some humid volume, this line, humid volume. And this is the entropy different. This is the entropy. Okay, I will talk to you for, for the next slide. For the first. If you know the dry bulb temperature, inside, this is the dry bulb temperature. The dry bulb temperature that you measure the temperature after air by thermometer, by copper, okay, for 29 Celsius. That's right, 29 Celsius. And also, you know the relative humidity is 20%. From this case, you can estimate the moisture content. Moisture content, you can draw the vertical line from, from this point. You get 0 0.005 kilogram water per kilogram dry air. And also, you can estimate the dew point. The dew point you can estimate by draw the vertical right to cross the saturation point. Saturation point means 100% relative humidity. And then you draw vertical right to contact the exit, you get dew point temperature. If you draw in this, you get moisture content. If you don't in this direction and then vertical line, you get new point temperature. Right. 
that means the, the air at dry bulb temperature is 29 Celsius, and the dew point is 400 Celsius, and moisture content at this point, at 20% is the humidity, for example. Okay, the humid volume. This is the humid volume. This is the humid volume. It's 0 0.9, 0 0.5, something like this. For example, if we know the drive out temperature is 30, you know the relative humidity. Right? Relative humidity. Okay, at this point, the humid volume is between 0 0.85 and 0 0.9. You can interpret what it is point. Right? It's between 0 0.85 and 0 0.9. I think it's between 0. At seven, something like this at this point. And also you can admit the moisture content like this. See. This is the humid volume. What is the humid volume? Right. <clears throat> the humid volume is the volume occupied by one kilogram of dry air plus the water vapor that accompany this is the humid volume. That's a humid volume. And also, for example, if you know the dry bulb is 30 Celsius. Relative humidity is 30%. That's right. From this line. That's right. This point. This point is between this line and this line. Right. It's between 0 0.85 and 0 0.9. You get Vs or humid volume is approximately 0 0.87. Okay. From this data, if you know amount of the humid air is 150 kilograms. You can calculate the volume of the air. Right. You can calculate the volume of the air. This is the mass of humid air. That's right. From the data, from the data, you know, right, it's the point at seven cubic meter that's right, per kilogram di air. And also from the this point, you know, 0 0.008 kilogram per kilogram di air. What does it mean? 0 0.0058 kilogram water per one kilogram diet. That's right, per one kilogram diet. That means one kilogram diet per 1.008 kilogram humid air. That includes diet plus water in the perfect. That's right, diet is one, water is 0 0.008. Then you can calculate the volume of it like this. Okay, for another information for the wet bulb, the wet bulb temperature is the temperature that we, we measure. Right? We have some product material that's like covered the uh, coat, something with the constant that's like is web allowed the bulb temperature. And then we have the humid air flow around this point, and then you use the thermocouple to measure. You can decide the wet bulb temperature. How to estimate wet bulb temperature from the curve like this. If you know right the wet bulb or dry bulb, you know relative humidity and this point. You get this point, you draw this point, follow the entropy line. That's right. For this entropy line. We have the many point entropy line. Okay, you follow this. And contact is 100% relative humidity. You draw the vertical line. Right. So it uh, you draw the vertical line. This is the wet bulb temperature. Right, wet bulb temperature. And also, if you know temperature, if you know temperature and you know the moisture content, you draw this, right? For this line and this line, contact at this point. You can draw, follow the entropy, contact at the saturation line. Draw the vertical line, you get the wet bulb temperature. Okay. Specific entropy. You can calculate specific entropy right for the period example. Like we have the dry air from zero Celsius to one kilogram dry air at 25 Celsius. We have two systems, air and water. That's right. Air and water for air. For this case, we indicate CP air DT right? from zero to 25 Celsius. We need the first system. And the second system is water. That's right. It's water, you know, amount of water, this amount of water at zero Celsius to 25 Celsius. 
okay, you can read the property of water at zero Celsius at 25 Celsius from steam table. Do you know entropy of vapor phase? You know entropy of liquid phase from steam table. You get delta S of water like this, delta S of air, and then you get the average entropy of humid air. It's approximately 76.5. Okay, for this case, you can open from the chart. Right. For the chart, you know, right, the dry out temperature is 25 Celsius. Do you know the moisture content? You observe it. Uh, absolute. That's right, absolute moisture content. You draw these two right. That's right. In this, this. Okay, contact at this point. You can follow, like, the humidity you reach from this. Like about 76.5. For, for this curve, you have to know at least two conditions. You know at least two conditions. You can estimate another condition. Like you know dry bulb, you know relative. You can estimate the absolute moisture content. You can estimate the entropy like that. Uh, you can estimate the dry bulb temperature. Okay. And the last one, entropy de deviation. The entropy deviation. The entropy deviation we use to determine the entropy humid air that is not saturated. That's right. From the entropy, from, from previous, we calculate the entropy and saturation. How about it's not saturated? You have to add the deviation. Like you have to add the deviation. Okay, what is the deviation? For example, like if you know dry about temperature, if you know the Relative is ten percent. Okay, the contact at this point, you can read delta S entropy, and you can read uh, entropy and delta S like this. Okay, like for delta S, the like for delta S, the like for delta S zero point eight, zero point six, zero point four, something like this. Because this point is between zero point four and zero point six, you can estimate it about zero point. Too. And then you can calculate entropy, right? Entropy. For the case, we get entropy is 45. Delta is 0 0.25. And then you get entropy is 45 beta 0 0.25. You get so this is the psychometric chart that talk about the, the water and air system. I will, I will talk to you further in the next week or about. Uh, on, on Thursday, the application of psychometric chart, that's right, application of the 